Hello YouTube. Um, I'm gonna start off with scripture uh, before I get into my testimony. Uh, I had to re-record it. Uh, ran out of time, so I'm gonna do this right. Uh, we turn to uh, Romans. Uh, Romans chapter eight, twenty-eight through thirty-seven. I'm reading on the New International Version uh, to preach, but I prefer if you study the Bible is the King James Version that's better to, to study you know to learn but I'm doing this so people can understand it a little better the way I'm preaching it okay here we go and it says and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose for those God foreknew he also predestined to be conformed to the likeness of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and those he predestined he also called those he called he also justified those he justified he also glorified what then shall we say in response to this if God is for us who can be against us he who did not spare his own son but gave him up for us all how will he will, how will he not also along with him graciously give us all things who will bring any charge against those whom God has chosen it is God who justifies who is he that condemns Christ Jesus who died more than that who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also interceding for us who shall separate us from the love of Christ Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or, or sword? As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all, thing, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height or death nor anything nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord okay all right I've been elected as I've said in my first video my testimony is that uh, our midnights and uh, with another guy, you know, this happened about 5, 4.30 in the morning. Okay, we was taking our 15 minute break. I decided, well, I'll take a, you know, doze off for about 5 minutes, 10 minutes maybe. Uh, you know, he decided he was also going to. But he had woken up. Okay, wait, this is a little room. Well, this is a, it's a big built, it's a big building inside of a little room. And there was lights on the outside of the room. White lights, okay. And in the little room, we had the light off, but there was still a little some light coming into the little room, so it wasn't pitch dark. Okay. Well, I had dozed off anyways, and, uh, um, he had seen this white light. He couldn't under explain where it was coming from. All of a sudden, okay. He looked outside, or look, you know, because there's wind. There's a big window, and there's other side windows. And he was looking out, and he couldn't. He couldn't figure out because the light was coming from an angle that the lights weren't reflecting. Okay. Um, he told me this after I woke up, by the way. Uh, and he said something told him just go back to sleep and he did but when I was sleeping the light shined on me it was so bright that it woke me out of my sleep this bright white bright light oh, excuse me and uh... It was, it, was, it was big first and then it just just got small and it just like once I woke up it just rolled off my arm and that was it okay I was still living in sin I wasn't saved at the time you know, I was drinking, you know, smoking weed, uh, lying, lusting at the heart, uh, probably other things I don't know about. But God, you know, revealed itself to me 
and I, I know it was him I just got this feeling and uh, I repented the next day and I cried out to God you know I'll do your will I didn't even know what his will was okay and I had godly sorrow you know not 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 sorrow like you know oh you know I, I, uh, a relative died no this was like godly sorrow Golly sorrow! I was broken. I was, I was, I felt so disgusted at myself for all the things that I've done to offend a holy God, and I just felt disgusted with myself. And you know, I to this day I think about it sometimes, and I just like makes me want to just give him more glory and more praise. Um. But it's something that everybody's got to deal with once they get delivered, they get born again. I got delivered from my sins one by one. That's the key. Okay, once you cry out to God, ask forgiveness, go in your room uh, alone. Shut the door, shut everything off. And get up down on your knees and cry out to Him. Because He's waiting. He's waiting. Let go of your pride. Humble yourself. Cry out to Him. It'll be the best decision you make. Um, because we're running out of time, okay? I mean, not, not me. I already know. Uh, you know, even though I still got to keep fighting. I'm walking, you know, I, I, I'm running. You know, trembling with fear. I'm trembling with fear because I don't want to go to hell. Okay, I do not want to go to hell. So I'm trembling with fear. I'm I'm out I'm out here preaching to you guys that look whatever you guys are going through, you know, you don't have Christ in your life, it's gonna be ten times worse when you're separated from God in hell. Okay, it doesn't matter if you believe, it doesn't matter if you believe or not, it doesn't change the truth. It will not change the truth. That's like saying I believe that uh you know there's no air. There's no wind. You can't change. You, it's, you know, humble yourself, please. Repent from your sins. You know, the good part about it, once God gives you the Holy Spirit, you're not doing it on your own. God is helping you. He will help you to get delivered from from all your sins. You don't do it on your own. He helps you. He's he. That that's how easy it is. You feel the spirit, the spirit comes over you and says, no, don't do that. No, don't do that. Stop doing that. And you feel the spirit is so beautiful and it's so loving and it's so peaceful and it's so right. And it's just, man, people who don't know God are missing out. They are truly missing out. I mean, I don't, you know, we can't. I don't know how to ex explain. People always ask for proof. Well, well, let me. I don't. Let me see him. Let let me. Uh, I can't. I don't see him. I can't touch him. How can you know him if you don't ask for forgiveness? You know, you're still living in sin. How is he gonna know you? You're still sinning. Okay. This proof is by the Holy Spirit. You know, this is for all the unbelievers that, that, that say that there is no God. This proof is by the Holy Spirit. And, uh, I just say, you know, I'm at peace with myself. I'm happy. You know, I don't have no enemies. And, uh, I can't wait to see Jesus and get away from this wicked world. And that's it for this video. Uh, I thank you for watching. I'll get more into scriptures uh, uh, as time goes on. I just wanted to share my testimony and I'm doing the work of God and the will. So thank you and God bless.